joined here in the field by Dan. What more can you tell us, Dan? Yes, Craig. Uh, like you had said, uh, we were just speaking to uh, Fire Chief uh, Dave Hanman when we heard a huge explosion. Um, this is coming off of the uh, gas leak uh, that was reported this morning uh, up by uh, the Dickinson Avenue uh, Public House. Um, all residents of Greenville, uh, well, downtown Greenville, excuse me, are being uh, evacuated at this moment, and people of West End and also the Boundary are, uh, s excuse me, are supposed to stay inside, not have any doors or windows open, and possibly take in people that they see off of the street. Um, the, uh, excuse me, the gas leak occurred whenever, uh, if you can see behind me, the uh, construction site, apparently a backhoe uh, hit a natural gas line causing this gas leak. Um, we're not entirely sure what might have caused the explosion that we heard, but we're looking to find more. Back to you guys in the studio. Well, the scene here, Craig, is everybody is very frantic. Uh, once again, after the explosion that occurred not five minutes ago while we were speaking with uh, Fire Chief Dave, ha or excuse me, Dave Hanman, um, once again, the explosion occurred uh, due to a uh, construction site where a backhoe backed over a natural gas uh, pipe. Um, we are still trying to figure out more information as to what happened. Uh, at first, Dave Hanman was incredibly happy to see us, but as you can see, after that explosion, he's nowhere to be found. Uh, they called uh, Hazmat from Raleigh, who are currently en route over here, and they are trying to get all ECU and Greenville Transits to uh, evacuate as many people as possible. Back to you guys in the studio.